All right, guys, welcome to episode two of Cooking with Ash. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at making ourselves a simple red sauce to serve with some pasta and make ourselves some chicken burgers later on. I might show you how to butcher a chicken as well. It'll be fine. Uh, so, going forward, uh, remember we are cooking lunch and dinner for four people five days a week for £25, all right? So working with a really tight margin. Uh, for this recipes, recipe, recipes, gonna need one of these, nice big pan, and your ingredients are about here. Right guys, in this episode, we're gonna focus on two really important things when it comes to cooking. These are real fundamentals, all right? I'm gonna teach you some basic butchery skills, how to take apart a chicken. It's really, really nothing to be afraid of, all right? Uh, also, we're gonna show you how to make a red sauce. So the red sauce is a base for loads of different dishes, all right? We're gonna make one big pot now, and we're actually gonna split it and use it in three recipes for the rest of the week, all right? It's a really good fundamental to know, and it's really, really good if you wanna to chuck together a quick lunch, all right? Quick lunch for the kids, bit of red sauce, spaghetti, penne, bit of grated cheese, mmm, delish. All right, so we're gonna get that on the go. Get a pan going, little splash of oil on about a medium heat, all right? While that's warming, peel your onions, pre-prepared, Magic TV, all right? We're gonna peel some carrots. Now, I use a speed peeler, one of these bad boys. Just makes the job nice and easy. If you haven't got it, just peel with your regular peeler. All right? And we're gonna do that for all of them. All the carrots also will need top and tail in, all right? Ping, ping. And we'll do that with the rest of these. Oil's getting hot on the side. All right, they're done. Bring this a little forward. Just gonna slice our onions. All right, so I've peeled them. Chop them down the middle, turn them on their side, and away, all right? Now, as we said in the last episode, when chopping, it's really important to make a claw hand, okay? That goes over, takes your fingers out the danger zone. All right? Boosh. And one last one. All right, so in that, that's four onions worth, all right? We're gonna chuck it into our pan, we're gonna sweat them down. And again, like the last episode, what this does is release all the natural sugars. It's gonna make them really sweet and golden brown, all right? Just make sure it's a medium heat, keep it moving, don't let them burn too much. If they start catching, just turn it down. And then we're gonna to wanna to do the same with the carrots, all right? So for these, gonna turn them down, cut through, and chop, all right? So if I do that a little slower on the next one, Carrot as so. Cut it down into maybe three, depending on the size. Cut lengthways, and then chop down, all right? And this will give us these lovely little dice cubes, okay? We're gonna do all those, chuck them in as well. By the magic of TV, this might speed up now. <laughs> Let's go. Plaster for continuity's sake. Right, all our onions, all our carrots are frying off. All right, again, if it gets a little too hot, just turn it down a little bit. We just want this to soften slowly now. Now, with a basic red sauce, you can add loads into it, all right? So you could look at doing some celery, some leeks. For our recipes, for our budget, for what we've gone for, we're going with onion, we're going with carrot, and we're going with garlic, all right? And that definitely is a little bloody. A few moments later. So all our onions and our um, carrots are sweating off, if I just show you there. All right, nice and softened. Now for a red sauce, you can add loads of different stuff to it, all right? Celery, uh, leeks, whatever you've got. For us, this is what we're gonna do, it's within our budget. 
It's going to make a really healthy, healthy lunch anyway. One the kids are going to like, but also chucking a load of those veggies in there, all right? So, all right, so here we go. Uh, onions, carrots are sweating. We're going to need to add some garlic, all right? My notice, a little plaster. Said be careful with knives, didn't listen to my own advice. All right, so I've peeled three cloves of garlic. We're just going to slice them down nice and thin, all right? Now, with that, if you add a little bit of sea salt, that makes it a little more abrasive, and that makes chopping it a lot, lot easier, all right, when you get a bit finer. So we're gonna keep going. Which means you can really grind on it with the side of your knife now. I'll take a little bit of work, we'll break it down, but for now, we're just gonna chuck that in. All right, it's roughly chopped. It's going in a big pot of soup or stock sauce. Doesn't need to be fine. Get that heat heated up. And to that, add some salt and add some pepper. Once that's on the fly, we bought some of this random ingredients chicken seasoning, all right? I think that was what, 89p was it? 89p. Uh, we're just gonna bung a bit of this in. Uh, again, we haven't got like the uh, option to be a bit fussy when working with a budget. So this is gonna go towards a couple things. So add a little bit of the salty chicken seasoning. What's that actually is gonna do is give it a little bit of an umami taste. Um, so actually it's gonna work out really, really well. Into that. We're now gonna add another one of our stock cubes. So one stock cube, 500 ml of water into the top. All right, and again, we've still got six, seven stock cubes in the cupboard for another time. That's gonna get nice and nice and hot, warm up into there. Couple tablespoons of tomato paste again. One and two. Again, as we discussed before, that's going to thicken it up. All right, give it a nice, really rich color, nice tomatoey flavor, but also add a thickness to it. And then into that, we're going to add our plum tomatoes. All right, so we've got three tins of these. I'm uh, going to smash them in, all right? Now, what I tend to do is catch it in my hand on the way. Can you see? And just crush it in my hand, all right? That means when we cook our sauce, it's just gonna have these really nice little sort of jewels of tomato all the way through, as opposed to the, sort of all the blended ones that just turn to mush. Just gonna give a little texture. So get all three of those in. Careful, because it is hot. I'm just gonna go wash my hands. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right guys, so I've washed my hands up nice and clean. Tomato sauce is sweating away. We're gonna to wanna to reduce that by about one third, all right? So on high, I reckon it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes, all right? Just keep your eye on it. If you've got a lot of time, reduce the heat and cook it over a longer period, over an hour. All that's gonna do is help intensify. But the kids are hungry, so we're gonna get them fed, all right? Uh, I pre-cooked my pasta. A few little tips on uh, cooking pasta, spaghetti, boiling water, rolling boil, with lots and lots of sea salt, okay? No oil. Oil doesn't work. What happens is it makes a film on the pasta and makes it really hard for the sauce to cling to it, all right? So salt, no oil. When we add salt to the pasta water, we like to say in the kitchen, salty as the sea, all right? So when you try that water, it needs to be But that's exactly what we want, all right? It seasons the pasta, gives it flavor, okay? About 10 minutes, depending on your pasta's instructions, get it pre-cooked again. It's a job you can do ahead of time. Now bear in mind, when it comes to using the red sauce again, it's already made for our other recipes, all right? So this is done. Beginning of the week, we're on day two, Tuesday. It's gonna see us through to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all right? Hopefully, we might have a little bit left for the freezer as well. All right, so just keep it moving. And in about 10 minutes, we're gonna come back and it's gonna be done. Right, 
Tomato sauce is done. It's finished, ready to go. Remember, we're gonna use this for other recipes later on in the week. This is the base stock. It's gonna see us for another two meals, okay? So out of this, we probably wanna split it in about half, all right? It's a nice big mixing bowl. You got your pasta all cooked ready. You got your sauce on here. Just look at that. Really saucy, full of veg. Kids are gonna love it. All right, just empty away. About half of it. Pasta's cooked. We're gonna chuck that in as well. Now realistically, this is one pack of pasta. Um, I think it's uh, 200 oh. grams. That might actually do you for like six people or big dad portions if you're me, big boy. Uh, um, just give it a good little toss about in the, in the bowl. Just chuck it over the top, yeah, absolutely. No worries, all right? Pair of tongs, give it a little pinch. Twirl it up. Or if you're like me and you're just an absolute animal, just chuck it on there. All right. That. Red sauce made, pasta cooked. Kid-friendly pasta packed full of veggies. Red sauce ready for our other recipes. My favorite thing to eat, so I'm actually uh, gonna get stuck in. Watch the spaghetti face. It's delicious, really, really hot. It's delicious. All right, so dinner time. We're gonna make a really simple grilled chicken burger, all right? Gonna blacken it up with some spices, easy peasy. All you're gonna need for it is this bad boy. Ingredients are about here, shutting. All right, and we're gonna butcher our chicken. Nothing to be afraid of. It's really simple as pimples, all right? If we can have a little look from down and above. Legs, two breasts, wings, all right? Easy to take apart. What we're gonna do, pull the little bit of excess neck fat there, all right? That can go aside. If you've got a stock pot going, that's what we're gonna do with our remains for this, all right? So nothing goes in the bin. We're gonna take the wings off on this one. So to do that, pull the wing out. You'll find this knuckle bend there and just cut through the middle, all right? If the knife doesn't go through, then uh, you're not in the right place, all right? So just find it. Cut through. Back legs. We're gonna free it up a little bit. Turn it to its side using your knife. Just cut there in that fold, all right? And then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna break there, all right? And you'll see the thigh bone has popped out the socket. And then with our knife again, we're gonna follow it around, okay? So it comes off. I'm gonna show you again. Where that flap is. Cut down, that opens it up, we flip it over, pop it, and I'm gonna follow around, all right? Now, when we're doing this, don't worry if you leave too much excess meat on, all right? When we make our little chicken noodle soup later on for one of our lunch menus, um, all those bits of chicken are gonna go into the broth, all right? Nothing's gonna go to waste, so don't worry. Chicken breasts, all right? Find the central line, which is the bone, and then just to the left of that, we're gonna cut down, all right? So the bone is here, and we're gonna cut down. And then we're just gonna open it up. So follow all the way down. And then when you hit the bone, just follow it back down. All right, long strokes, carefully your fingers. All right. And eventually, when you keep, keep going, you free the breast up, all right? Again, a little bit of meat here, no worries, it's all gonna go in the soup. Turn it around. Follow down the other side of the bone. All right, see there? Open her up, and in gentle strokes, just keep cutting down, watch your fingers, and it will come loose. All right, so 
So this is what we're left with. Two thighs, two breasts, one carcass, wings. This is all going to go in for our stock uh, for later on. So that's that. I'm going to put our legs aside for another recipe. With the chicken breasts, what we want to do is just check there's no bits of bone or carcass on there, all right? So have a little feel through. Make sure there's no, I've got a little bit of wing bone there. So I'm just going to pop that off. All right. Flip that one. Double check that, all right? There's no bone on there. So the carcass and the wings and the legs for later on. We're just going to put them to the side. For our chicken breasts, we're going to take the skin off um, and then we're going to cut them down the middle to give us four portions, all right? I say four portions. So the skin should just come off with a gentle tug, all right? If it doesn't, just ease it off with your knife, all right? Don't pull too hard. You don't want to break the flesh. Keep the skin. And go in our stew for later on. Gentle pull. So now we've got two breasts. What we're going to do with these is cut them lengthways down the middle, all right? So, flip them over. Being careful of your hands, flat, again, so we don't chop up, we don't take our fingers off, all right? And then just through the middle, follow the knife, all the way through to the end, all right? Let the knife do the work. There we go. Again, flat hand, all the way through the middle. Let the knife do the work. Boom, all right? So that is four portions of breasts for our chicken burgers. Before we get the uh, pan on, we're just gonna give our chicken burgers a little rub, all right? Ooh, uh, Add them to a bowl. Got some of our special chicken seasoning. Now, I think going forward, if you wanted to get something else, like a fajita mix, a barbecue rub, anything like that would work really well. Cajun rub would be great as well, all right? Bear in mind, we're on a budget. This has done a couple jobs, so, you know, I think it's working well. And just give it a real liberal dusting, maybe two tablespoons worth. A little glug of oil, a couple tablespoons. Good pinch of salt and black pepper. Now when we cook this, all that flavour is going to penetrate the chicken uh, and when it's cooked it's going to give it a really nice charred black smoky taste, alright? It's going to be really good, like you do it with plenty of proteins, so stuff like salmon, chicken, and they call it blackening, alright? So it's going to go on, it's going to get hit with a high heat, all that flavour is going to char on there, it's going to give it a nice smoky taste, alright? First of all, get in there. Get all this rubbed up. All right, just make sure it's all well coated. Nice. Gonna get the pan going. Medium high heat again. Again, washing our hands as we go. Really important. Also, I haven't got a sink here. All right, pans on, big old splash of oil. While this is going, you might want to get your oven on, okay? We're going to go 190 again, all right, nice and high. Just going to quickly flash these in the oven once they're browned on all sides, all right? So make sure you've got yourself a tray ready. Just going to move our stuff out of the way. Bring this along so we can see on our camera up there. Hello. Okay, once this is warm and smoking, we're gonna get our chicken in, all right? Really important things when you're doing this, all right? Don't throw your chicken in, you're gonna splash yourself with oil. You lay it down gently, lay it away from you, all right? It's just gonna go in. Gently lay away from you. Gently lay away from you. Right, so after a minute, as you can see, it's starting to blacken on each side. Going a lovely colour. We're going to flip it over. We're going to do these, like we said, a minute on each side, all right? 
Then what happens is it's going to go on the tray, we'll do the other two, and then we're going to get it in the oven for about six minutes. Moments later. All right, guys, so all our chicken is done. Now, a little addition to this, it's going to make a really nice addition to our burgers. We're going to chuck some grilled lemon on there as well, all right? Um, it's really, really good. Nice, fresh lemon to go over the chicken when we're done. Okay. What I'm going to do is cut some lemons in half and then just chuck them in the pan, all right? Same pan. And same with those. We're going to wait until they're all blackened up and caramelized, all right? Um, that's going to make a really, really good topping for our burger, just to squeeze over the top and give it a little zing. Also, if you're going to serve it with a really nice salad uh, on the side, possibly, um, that's going to make for a great dressing to just go over the top as well. It's really going to lift the whole thing up. With these, we're going to want to blacken them up really, really well, okay? So it's going to take about three or four minutes, all right, on a high heat. Um, but as you can see, it's already starting to go. You should smell it in here. It smells unbelievably good. All right, so I think our lemons are done. Have a little look at that, really nicely colored, all right? The smell is unbelievable, it's really fragrant. That's gonna go onto our trays and go with our chicken. Be really, really careful, all right? They can get so, so hot, there's like sugar and et cetera in it. It's gonna uh, really, really burn your fingers, okay? All of that in the oven, about six, seven minutes. More moments later. Oh yeah, they're looking really good. Smells incredible as well, all right? Let's just see if I can get that out there. All right, so, gonna let them rest for a couple minutes. While we do, we're gonna toast up some buns, all right? So I've just wiped out my pan. It's gonna be a one pan wonder. Get it on nice and hot. Now we're gonna toast our buns, all right? Wiped out our pan. Get it smoking hot, about a high, high heat, all right? Lightly oil the bases of these and then we're just gonna get them on. All right, give it a little push. Give it about 20 seconds, just toast it up, all right? Just gonna do them in the pan we've done. It's got loads of flavor in it anyway, from us doing our chicken, from us doing our lemon, but also it's gonna save on dishes, all right? Nobody wants dishes. Really careful with your fingers. Toasted and toasted, all right? And again, we've oiled these. Light press in there, about 20 seconds. See how we get on. Once these are done, we're gonna start building our burgers, which is the best bit, all right? If you wanna serve it with some ketchup, some mayo, by all means. Uh, we've gone with some grilled lemon just to dress it. Um, I think that's gonna be enough. But if you wanna add some bits to it, by all means do, all right? This would be great if you wanna serve it with some wedges, some chips. I think, again, this is actually enough on its own, especially for the kids. Um, but if you wanna, by all means. All right, let's build ourselves a burger. So we've got our toasted brioche buns. Some rocket on the base. A couple of bits of tomato on the base. All right, a thinly sliced one large tomato for these. All right, it's gonna do all four. Um, and we've saved the others for one of our later recipes. Chicken breast. Little squeeze of lemon. And the lid on. Blackened chicken breast, bun with rocket and tomato. Grilled lemon, do this. Got to eat this now, all right? And there we go. Got it. And we get stuck in. Mm. Man, so good. All right, so day three for our um, 525 series, we're gonna make a puff pastry pizza and also a cauliflower curry with rice, all right? Mm. That's so good. See you tomorrow.